We're back. This is day 15 out of the 31 days of Halloween masks here on the channel. We've got a problem, though. I can't think of what to do tonight because I've got this crazy song stuck in my head. And it goes a little something like this. So, you may be able to guess what we're doing this episode on. Do you know? I'm sure you do. So here it is, the big old moon everyone keeps asking about. I'm going to tell you all about this crazy thing because it's a special piece and uh, it's, it's so awesome. I never thought I'd have one. So here we go. So look at this thing. I mean, so number one, it's not a mask, okay? <laughs> it would be, <laughs> this would be the most amazing mask though. Think of this on your head, this gigantic moon. It would be insane. This thing is so big. Um, I'm gonna put a mask next to it. Here, let's get Uncle Creepy. There's Uncle Creepy next to it. So that'll give you an idea how big this moon is. It's massive. All right. So obviously, this is from the famous silent film by George Melies, A Trip to the Moon. He was a magician and a stage performer. He made that iconic film, that silent film that... Uh, it's it's loved by so many people and uh i would say the most recognizable thing from that film is the moon and if you haven't seen it you should really watch it because i'm sure many of you have seen it but you know that the the little the guys get into the rocket it sticks in the moon's eyeball this is this is probably one of the most iconic images in film history. I think a lot of people will agree with that. Um, not necessarily a horror item or a monster, but it's so freaking cool. So my friend uh, Kathy Tharp sculpted this back in 2012, I believe, and made a very limited run, about a dozen pieces. And I never got in on it years ago. And once in a while, I would see guys post this thing, or you'd see it in the background of collection shots. You know, those the dozen lucky people out there that had them. You'd see one in their room, and you're like, man, that thing is so cool. So I don't remember if it was 12 or 13 pieces. Um, I can verify that later. It was right around that, that amount made. And when you would see these in the collections, you know, many years later, I'm talking, you know, five six seven years ago they all aged they all turned a darker color like the uh maybe i don't know if it was a clear coat that uh or the, i don't know if it was a clear coat or the paint that uh rob and kathy used on them it just kind of aged and they look i mean it looks cool i'll i think i may have a photo of one out there i'll show you what i'm talking about but they they look so vintage the way they discolored you know these they slightly discolored so for years i'm like man i would love to get one of these things and then let's say i i don't remember exactly when maybe five years ago or so the tharps were going to do a run of these smaller versions of this okay which was a smaller it was just a face okay like like imagine the face kind of cut out like this and it was like a disc so if you turned it it would look flatter and it was just a smaller it would be on a little pedestal and uh they were going to do a run of maybe a dozen of those or so and i was so excited i'm like man at least i can get one of those and it was the face cut out of this flat on the back curved on the front kind of like a uh pupil of an eye shape you know and uh i had my space locked in with kathy and rob for that custom custom piece and 
they're they're getting ready to make mine. I said, Kathy, listen, if you ever know of anyone selling one of the big, beautiful ones you made years ago, please tell me right away. I would love to get one. You know, I, I know you know everyone that has them. If anyone goes to sell one, please get in touch with me. So I get an email from her <laughs> and she says, well, you know what? I still have my original copy and it's still a blank and never painted it. It's in the garage. Brand new still. Like the casting is perfect. It's been stored away. And uh, she goes, I'd, I'd sell it to you. We could paint it up and make it for you and you'll have one of the, you know, masks of the original run. And I was like, oh. I freaked out. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. And uh, I jumped on it instantly. I said, please, please. I go, I could find someone to take that other flat one, but they, they had people wanting them pretty bad. And I said, I want that 100%. Kathy took her personal copy. Her and Rob painted this thing up beautifully. Um, my friend, Maskahuna, he, uh, I believe he he's the one that foam filled it for me. He foam filled it first and then put it on the pedestal really nice. And then Rob and Kathy painted this thing up so nice. So my copy compared to the others out there looks you know, nice and new looking. If you start seeing others out there in people's collections, they'll look like that darker vintage, you know, aged style. But mine is still pretty bright. It's 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 changed slightly, like maybe like 10% change on it. But I mean, it is incredible. And everyone that sees photos of the mask room or they walk in here, they'll like they'll go, What is that? <laughs> you know, it's so neat. So I was thrilled to get in on the original run of that big giant moon. I was, it's, you know, it doesn't hurt to ask questions. This thing is completely covered in craters from top to bottom around the whole thing. It's like a giant, giant moon, you know, and it's so neat. She really got the, the likeness down nicely and uh, they painted the little rocket. It looks, looks metallic and it's actually got a little I think the uh, eyebrow is actually, I thought there was like a fabric on there, like almost a felt that's cleared over. And I mean, look at that thing. I posted this on Instagram years ago and this, that photo took off like wildfire. In a few days I had like 5,000 likes and I'm like, man, that's the most likes I ever had in a picture that quickly. And this is absolutely one of my favorite things in the collection and not a monster, but one of the most iconic images in all of cinema history. There have been countless um, things made out of that moon face, you know, coffee mugs, t-shirts, you name it, you know, st little statues and Christmas ornaments, but nobody, <laughs> only like a dozen people in the world have a giant version okay this thing is so special and uh i've had fans of the film contact me on instagram they just could not believe i had this thing and uh it's actually latex rubber this is this is a latex rubber pull it's foam filled and uh it still feels you know nice and it, it hasn't hardened up or nothing it feels like a, a nice latex rubber moon and it's just incredible I know a lot of people keep asking about it in comments on my videos, and uh, I'm like, you know what? And a buddy of mine from grade school texted me today. He goes, I gotta ask you a question. My buddy Jeff, and he goes, are you gonna do one on that cool moon? I'm like, yeah. I go, I might as well do it tonight, you know? It's absolutely one of the coolest things in this collection. So, check it out. You will... <sighs> if you guys are out there in the mask world in the hobby you've probably seen one somewhere in someone's collection and uh you should start looking for them now and when people post the collection photos look in the background see if you see who has those other other versions of this but uh i've, I've had a lot of people want to buy this thing over the years and i just do not want to sell it i would never be able to replace it you know so what better than to feature on the 15th day of october and this gorgeous moon and uh robin kathy tharp 
did a great job as always and uh we are going to turn him on his back for a second as you can see here on the bottom i had them so i had them autograph mine it says le voyage Dans la Luna, 1902, tribute mask number three, completed for the Crimson Ghost Mask Room. I got a special, special sticker on the bottom. Kathy Tharp, Rob Tharp, and my buddy, who I'm covering his name, um, who is the guy that foam filled it and foam filled half of this collection over the years. Man, every time I come down here, I look at this thing and I just, uh, I love it. And it's massive. I mean, <laughs> look at my... Here, here's my hand on him. He's he's a pretty big piece, you know. It's kind of like a, a beach ball size, almost. Pretty cool. Hope you guys like this guy. Everyone asks. Um, and I've had a, a request to do a, a video on the life-size figures in this room. I got to do that. So that's coming. Um, I may do it as one of the nights of the 31 Days of Masks, because technically... There are masks on some of these guys and girls, and uh, they're incredible. So that's for another time, and uh, I'm glad you guys tuned in tonight or tomorrow morning. This will air in the morning, although it's early tonight. It's before 10 o'clock for once, so I'm going to try to get this video going right away. And I shot another one on that, that Firebird formula today, so I'm going to try to get that up too. Um, a lot more to come. 15 days to go, or no. 16 and uh i'm kind of i'm gonna kind of be sad when this is all over so maybe <laughs> you may get one on november 1st an extra a little extra and uh i may continue this at least once a week you know for good forever until we run out of masks <laughs> and this is this collection's always changing i'm getting new things constantly i'm trading selling buying so there's uh and there's so much cool stuff going on in my basement. I'm going to do a video on what's going on in the other room. It's a major project. I am turning... Those of you that like this channel and like the all the different things I'm into, I'm turning the rest of this basement into a vintage tiki room and bar. Like mid-century tiki. Not no Jimmy Buffett parrot head technicolor tiki crap. Nothing against Jimmy. He's all right. But... This is going to be old school tiki bar. The whole basement is going to look like a vintage tiki room. I've been collecting tiki stuff as long as I've been collecting masks. I've got huge hand carved tikis. I have a crazy mug collection. I don't call it the Crimson Ghost mask. Uh, I don't call it the Crimson Ghost tiki mug collection, but it's pretty, pretty awesome. A lot of vintage stuff. Um, I'm putting a bunch of vintage pinball machines down here. You know, it's going to be nuts. And there's going to be... A case full of monster models and toys. A lot of stuff I've got. I featured them on the channel, some of them. There's going to be a trick shop wall. A whole wall display like a vintage trick shop. So I've got a pretty extensive collection of vintage novelties, tricks. Some magic tricks, but you know, like rubber dog poo from like the 40s and 50s. Like I've got a lot of really cool novelties because... Growing up, loving the masks, that weird novelty stuff you'd order out of the, the uh, comic books or go to trick shops and buy, that is, I love that just as much as I love all this. So I've got a pretty wild collection. Uh, it's going to look like the wall of a trick shop. All stuff in packages, and it's all vintage. Like, it should be pretty, pretty awesome. Um, so that's coming on this channel at some point. I'm going to be working on this basement the whole winter. I'm going to do a teaser video soon on what's going on out there because it's pretty it's pretty cool so far. I brought a truckload of bamboo up here from Georgia, so that'll give you an idea how serious I am about this. So anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow with number 16.